welcome to AS and A level chemistry. Our topic for today is introduction to organic chemistry. So organic chemistry is basically the study of carbon and its compounds. Uh, what, that's what we will be starting today. So you have covered much of organic chemistry in your in your IGCSEs. Uh, so what we are going to do today is going to be some recap from the IGCSEs and an extension of what we did in the IGCSEs. So let's start. Now the first thing we need to know are some definitions. Now the first definition is a functional group. So a functional group is the part of a molecule that largely dictates how it reacts. So that's why it's called the functional group because that performs all the functions for that molecule, the reactions that take place with that molecule. It's because of that functional group. So the functional group is very important. So we will be encountering uh, throughout organic chemistry, not in this video, but uh, not in this playlist, but throughout organic chemistry of AS levels, we will be encountering the alcohol functional group, which is the OH group, the carboxylic acid functional group, which is this group, the ketone group, which is uh, this group, the aldehyde group, which is this group, the alkene group, which is this group, the alkane group, which is basically carbon-carbon single bonds, and the ester group. And the, the halogenoalkane groups, which can be CCL, CBR, CI, anything. But there has to be a halogen. So in fact, instead of writing a specific halogen, let's write X, where X is a halogen. So these are the functional group groups that we will be encountering. I repeat, alcohols, carboxylic acids, ketones, aldehydes, alkenes, alkanes, esters and halogenoalkenes so these are the uh, so uh, you have done alcohols carboxylic acids halogenoalkenes esters alkenes and alkenes in your igcses so in fact you've done most of the functional groups that we will do in the entirety of as levels however ketones and aldehydes are new to you so don't worry about that you can find these functional groups in the carbonyl compounds playlist so these are the functional groups I have introduced them to you now so we can move forward now so naming of organic compounds so how do we name an organic compound now let's say we have a simple organic compound methane now why is the name methane how do we get to that name uh, so first of all we'll see the number of carbon atoms now the number of carbon atoms in this case is one so this the, uh, so whenever there is one carbon atom the name starts with meth when the, there are two carbon atoms the name starts with eth when there are three the name starts with prop when there are four the name starts with bute when there are five the name starts with pent when there are six the name starts with hex when there are seven the name starts with hep when there are 8, the name starts with oct. When there are 9, the name starts with non. When there are 10, the name starts with dec. So you don't need to know beyond 10, but you should know all the naming till ten, uh, from 1 to 10 carbon atoms. So if you have 1 carbon atom, meth, 2 carbon atoms, then eth, and so on. So this is how we name an organic compound. So this, so you can see that this had one carbon atom, so the name will start with meth. Now, how do we come to the second part of the name? Because I said the name of this compound is methane. So how do we come to the second part of the name? So the ane comes from the word alkane, because you know that methane is an alkane, and that's why the ane comes from alkane. So if it's, uh, if it's an alkane, then the name will end with ane, and uh, therefore if it's an alkane with one carbon atom, it will be methane. If it's an alkane with two carbon atoms, it will be ethane. If it's an alkane with three carbon atoms, it will be propane and so on. Now, let's do, uh, let's do something similar for all functional groups. 
let's say we have 